got some uh, chili baby potatoes, which um, according to the cook instructions is 25 to 30 minutes on gas mark 5, which is 190 centigrade. So we'll pop that to 190 on the air fryer. And then the sausages, I'm not going to cook all of them. Um, to grill them is 7 to 10 minutes. So in theory, the potatoes need to go on first. So we'll pop them in. We won't cook all of them, we'll just pop some in and then put the rest in the, in the fridge. So we'll cook them. Put them in there. Put them in there. Pop them in the air fryer. I do love these air fryers. They do seem um, an awesome idea. So we'll switch that on. 25 minutes and we'll see how we get on um, I'll put the sausages in in about 10 to 15 minutes um, just wash my hands a moment yeah so we'll Yeah, so we'll put the uh, put sausages in in 10 to 15 minutes to see how long they take to cook. Um, yeah, the thing I love about these air fryers, um, they uh, they don't take any time to heat up. So, in terms of energy usage, surely it's got to be more advisable to have something that just gives you instant cooking power rather than something that takes forever to um, heat up and I have used this before to cook chips in and it's, it's actually quite nice so we'll give that 10 minutes and then we'll pop the sausages in and see what kind of result we get So the potatoes are already starting to cook cook so so quickly in these air fryers i mean i am absolutely blown away by um how quickly things do start cooking so i'm going to pop the sausages in um literally just next to the potatoes like that the inverter is, is coping fine with this and running the main fridge freezer as well Bearing in mind, they're both AC appliances. This isn't run by any fancy, like, inverters or anything like that. Just a bog standard 2000 watt Chinese inverter, um, which is uh, connected to an extension lead, which is basically what this is. Um, and it, it's coping with it fine. Um, so I'm gonna give those sausages 10 minutes and then, fingers crossed, that's a meal done in 15, 20 minutes. It's not using up a great deal of power. Um, the solar system's coping really, really well. And um, on top of that, I'm still able to cook, keep my fridge cold, while my lithium um, battery is being charged up whereby I think some people, because they rely so much on a big battery bank, um, you know, sometimes if things go wrong and they deplete their, their main battery bank, they have no backup. Where with this system, no matter what happens, um, I've always got one side of my battery bank being charged while I'm still able to cook and drink and store food safely and, and things like that so yeah I think um, I'm really happy with my system at the moment with my power delivery so it's been about 15 minutes um, for my sausages and chips 
Um, I'm actually going to switch them off now because uh, I'm pretty happy with that. There you go. Nice brown sausages cooked all the way through. Nice crispy potatoes, absolutely awesome. You know, a lot less mucking about with frying pans and doesn't draw as much power as the oven. A little bit of washing up, the tray comes out and we just clean it up. But, you know, jobs are good in. I think an air fryer, if you're a one person in a camper van, and you want one AC appliance, um, air fryer is a great idea. So much more healthy than using loads of frying pans and you know deep fat fires and things like that, which are dangerous. This is a great idea. I'm sure these can be dangerous if you don't clean them out properly, but mm. all in all. I think these make a brilliant addition to any camper van. Right guys, I'll catch you later.